Chapter 1 Bhagavad Gita Observing the Armies on the Battlefield The spiritual journey usually starts with a doubt. Over the years, our friends, family, society and the media paint a perfect picture of success. And we subsequently shape our lives, determined pursuit of it. At a certain point, however, we begin to doubt whether that perfect life is achievable or will actually make us happy. We begin to question the materialistic goals, the aspirations and the milestones of success that have become deeply ingrained within us. Could there be some deeper purpose to life? While this initial doubt can often bring great uncertainty and confusion, it can also bring us to the start of our spiritual journey. It is the very doubt that Arjuna expresses at the onset of this sacred conversation. Dhritarashtra uvacha dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yuyutsava mamakau pandavaschaiva kim akuruvata sanjaya D for Dhritarashtra and Duryodhan, O for ominous result, U for uncertainty, B for bewilderment, T for turning point, D for Dhritarashtra and Duryodhan, verses 1 to 12. Innumerable soldiers have assembled on the battlefield of Kurukshetra due to the obstinacy and deep-rooted material aspirations of these two characters, bent on usurping their cousin's kingdom. Sitting in his palace, King Dhritarashtra inquires about the latest events on the battlefield while his son Duryodhan is busy firing up his army as he prepares for fratricidal war. Dhritarashtra is physically blind, but he and his son are also blinded by greed, envy and material desires. When the individual starts to think in terms of I, me and mine, primarily interested in selfish gain and personal aggrandizement, then anxiety, frustration and disappointment are inevitable. Unfortunately, one who is materially entangled becomes oblivious to the ill effects of his actions. O stands for ominous results. Verses 13 to 20. Despite Duryodhana's boastful words, the ominous result of this confrontation is made clear from the onset. Too many signs indicate his inevitable defeat. Those who stand on the side of purity and righteousness are always victorious, regardless of whether the worldly odds seem stacked against them. One who is a carrier of goodness is never overcome by evil. U stands for uncertainty. Verses 21 to 27. Despite knowing that he defends virtue, Arjuna is still uncertain about fighting his opponents, who were also his relatives. The chariots are ready, arrows are drawn, the battle cries are sounded, but Arjuna wants to take a final look at the armies. He orders Krishna, who assumes the role of his charioteer, to drive to the middle of the battlefield so that he can satisfy his curiosity. To his credit, despite the intensity of the situation, Arjuna takes time to reflect. Life may be crammed with responsibilities and pressing issues, but attendance to such demands should not be at the expense of quality spiritual introspection. Unfortunately, the chronic disease of modern man is the excuse of no time when it comes to such soul searching. B stands for bewilderment verses 28 to 30. Foreseeing the imminent suffering and the death that is the inevitable consequence of war, Arjuna begins to analyze his predicament. At this stage, bereft of broader spiritual vision, his uncertainty intensifies and he becomes bewildered. When one lacks an understanding of his spiritual identity, his relationship with God and the critical purpose behind this world, one inevitably becomes disturbed and frustrated by life's challenge. T stands for turning point, verses 31 to 42. Arjuna justifies his decision to retreat from the fighting. Number one, because it would be cruel and heartless to prematurely terminate the lives of so many soldiers. Secondly, even an unrivaled kingdom would bring no happiness, since he would be bereft of the company of his near and dear ones. Thirdly, one would surely accrue bad karma 
as a result of such brutal violence and fourthly the wholesale killing involved would destroy the family unit and social structure causing havoc for future generations thus he is mind overwhelmed by grief arjuna sets aside his weapons and resolves not to fight sanjay uvach eva muktva arjuna sankhe rathopast upavishat visrijya sasharam chapam shok sambigna manasa sanjay said arjuna having thus spoken on the battlefield cast aside his bow and arrow and sat down on the chariot his mind overwhelmed with grief